Year 2060. Powerful earthquakes fissured the surface of the planet. <laughs> Humans discovered tunnels traveling to the center of the earth. Ancient monsters woke up and started their invasion. Wander drank water. Finally, aliens descended from the sky and offered their help to humanity. Wow, just absolute pity moments. They're like, oh shit, your planet's messed up. Uh, here's mech suits. Anyway, hey everyone, what about here? And welcome to uh, the beta of Metal Unit. It's another random roguelike that just ended up in my inbox earlier today. And boy howdy, I'm gonna play it because all roguelikes are worth a shot. Not all of them are games that I will continue with, but I anyone, any roguelike with mechs in it quickly goes to the top of the list, if only because I love me some big robots. Alright, so we're going to play on normal mode. I just realized I've got like three more uh, roguelikes like this after this. We might just do the kind of the roguelike lightning round today. Number 11, another emergency signal. Will I be able to find clues about my sister? And metal unit? I'm approaching the research facility. Confirmed. It's already the fourth time this month. We find a survivor. You know what to do if you find monsters or them in this area. Even if it's your sister. Yes, Master. I'll not forget them for forsaking mankind. Well, this is pretty anime, but we kind of knew that. Falcon, this research facility is the source of the distress signal. Captain Yuna will be arriving shortly to assist you. My scanner shows high monster activity. Be careful. Thank you, Falcon. Metal unit, activate. Okay, so what do I got? Y for sword, A for jump... Dash with right bumper. Whoop. Okay, maybe I don't have to worry about fire as much. Oh, so I am not a I'm not a mech. I'm actually just in an exosuit. Or these are really big boys. Eleven. We all attacked by Gar already. The security system has been activated. Oh wow. Okay. Sure. I. You know I've heard of boob straps, but this this is new. Um. Also, language. Give me your weapon! You can't find weapons in the next room. Oh, you can find weapons in the next room. A to jump. So we got a double jump. Ow, fire. Okay. Then a portion. Restore. Thirst! <laughs> the achievement is just thirst. Use dash to pass obstacles. Break that. Okay, destroy the power generator to open the gate. Now, wait, it's just a cute little slime. That's my, oh my God. Ow. My foes are just going to be slimes with swords. I, okay, sure. That's a cool looking mech suit back there. Use dash to pass obstacles. Okay, we got a Magnum Type D. Uh, let's see. Inventory to equip items. Inventory. Equip. There we go. So, now I have gun. I have gun! Oh, can't do that. So, the sword... Definitely a bit better, but still. Whoop. Ah, I was hoping I could dash through that. This is a very zippy platformer. Ah! 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 Okay, let's grab... Let's grab the thirst. And we're good. Stage clear. Interesting. 
I think this is a roguelike. I'm pretty sure it is. We'll have to find out. Okay, I'm gonna go turn down the sound effects just a bit. They're a bit snappy. I've no, nope, I guess just regular enemy. Okay, so you can, you can actually dash through enemy attacks. Well, secret area with murder slimes, as kind of expected. Oh, these things actually do hurt just by... No. Okay, we've got a Sara Shuriken. Sure. Rip that. Oh, so that's a... That's a special ability. Sub attack. Looks like it's got a long cooldown. Oh, sub item to destroy this. Does it have a long cooldown? I... Yeah, it does. Lasts for a while, though. Okay, so that fire is not deadly. Is that man dead? That man is dead. Bang. Nope. There we go. I got a submachine gun. I, oh, that's a lot of different weapons. Okay. Yeah, definitely roguelike. We're just in the tutorial state. We... Not the most accurate. Yeah, so it doesn't look like you can still knock enemies. In... In the way that I'd normally want to. But that's okay. Well, everybody got kind of wrecked here. Stop! Don't fight the red demon! It blocked all our attacks with its shield. I'm just a bunch of nerds. What can you do? I'm probably doomed. <laughs> Never mind. was easy. Wait, what? Oh. At some point. Damn it, the other side. Captain. Keep in mind, no one saves you twice in this world. She's got a transforming back. You look pretty comfortable on Metal Unit anyway. See you somewhere. Cool. Bye. What is this? Gained Tornado. Did you get something good from the red slime you just killed? The ultimate weapon can only be used by killing the enemy and charging it. So Metal Unit needs to taste blood. Well, yes. So anime, but also kind of English. It's... It's fine. Look. Uh, let's see. Destroyed base exit. Can I go in water? Okay, I can't go in water. I guess I should probably equip the ultimate move. There's also like a sword and a shield that I can maybe equip? Dunno. I'm just I'm just waiting for the souffle to start. Once once the souffle happens, then you then you know everything is good. Where am I now? Receiving transmission from the headquarter. Number eleven, what's your report? The research facility was raided by a group of monsters led by a red slime. Continue north and meet with Captain Yuna to investigate deeper into the forest. Yes, Master. I don't necessarily know what I can interact with. So I, I'm assuming this is the actual proper game now. Ice armor sounds interesting. What does this do? Improved armor of glaciers using alien technology. Freeze nearby enemies in the event of a hit. Oh, when in doubt. I'm assuming those are little kamikaze blob men. Luckily, the SMG really does just kind of clear them out. This place used to be a city. I'm actually getting some kind of... Uh, let's see. Oh, hey! Free stuff! Nano machine portion... whatever. Socket slime... oh, shoot! I guess we could drop down. I wonder how many secrets there are. Ah, uh, Wander, Wander loves the animes. I am a massive weeb. I, oh, sh that. I haven't actually watched a whole lot of anime lately. Uh, 
We're kicking. Ah! Damn it. Let's see. Yeah, the last anime that I was, like, really into, honestly, was uh, Demon Slayer. Before that, I kind of got into Shovel... Uh, not Shovel Knight. Shield Hero. Oh, that's a new one. Whee! Wrecked my frame rate a bit, but that's okay. Gotta be quicker on the draw with the, uh, the dashes, but that's also okay. Uh... But yeah, I don't know. I spent a lot of time watching anime growing up. I guess I just haven't found anything that's really in the same vein. I know there's a couple that I specifically should. Ooh. With that. Missiles. Uh, how do missiles? Maybe maybe it actually just triggers on a, on a hit. One damage, three cooldown. Fire a missile at tracks of the enemy. It's an early prototype, so it's not strong. Fair enough. Okay, we got anything up here? Probably not. So if I seen the infinite Stratos. I did, I didn't like it. Uh too harem-y for me. My problem is I love me some mecha. I love me some anime. Both have this serious problem with too many just like absolutely one bit female characters that have no reason to exist art other than um other than for fan service, and I've never really liked that. It feels cheap. I like all of my characters to be... How the hell do I go? Oh. They came to us in beautiful ways, served us, and awakened our foolishness. See their superiority. Feel the beauty of evolution. Get a new life and dedicate to them. That's... Only what we gar gar profit something something. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, that hurt a bit. Uh, let's see. What's a good example? Like. I'll admit, Gundam absolutely has had fairly useless female characters, but at least most of the time they weren't there purely just to... just to, like, give oogly eyes at the main character or something. Most of the time. I guess the princess in Wing was... She was... She was definitely important. But it was definitely kind of like... She was mostly just reacting to his actions. On journals and broken robots, the inju their injuries are serious. I'm gonna die here. I find out that I'm su I am surprised and leave them here. Someone taught science to monsters, but it's a different it's different from human technology. Oh, this in English is confusing. Lotus sounds like a new alt, maybe? No, secondary. Flower shape boomerang. Two damage, forty cooldown versus. 5 damage, 15 cooldown. Eh, we'll give it a go. Let's see Let's see how it works. Oh. Okay, that's probably worth it. I wonder how long it lasts. It's probably going to be really good against bosses more than anything else. Uh, let's see. I'm honestly trying to think of, like... Easy examples. I mean, sort of, weirdly enough, Shield Hero. I read the manga, and the manga does not go nearly as much, like, weird romance as uh, as the anime did. We got a Scouter. What's it say about power levels? Exposes an enemy weakness. Inflicts double damage when attacking an exposed enemy. Hmm. Do I want missiles? Nah. Let's go with, let's go with weaknesses. Nope. I tried dashing through that. Nope, can't do anything with that. There we go. I'm getting better at this whole dashing through attacks thing. That's going to make life easier. Looks like there is a cooldown, though. But that's fine. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, 
Okay. Beware rocks. Because apparently rocks keep falling on my head and it hurts. Well, I mean, I guess Demon... Uh, Demon, Demon Slayer at least has, like, mostly good female characters. Though it definitely felt like there was a bit of a... Heavy count on, on male characters initially. Probably target audience related stuff. But I don't know. It just sucks for me. I just want all my characters to be like fully fleshed out and not just flesh. Is that too much to ask? It apparently is actually too much to ask from a lot of a lot of uh, media. Which is part of the reason why I guess I've gotten into a little bit more like Mon was recently. Because they at least try and keep their fan service so much, uh, somewhat on the down low. Mostly. Hello. Item shop hidden in the forest. There's some highly intelligent monsters that do not hurt people and they sell repairs and items. So let's talk. Alright, so laser sword. Prototype drone supply. Flash armor. Oh. To succeed in avoiding an attack, you can flash? How much money do I have? I have a lot of money. Well, let's get the laser sword. I mean, there's no reason why I shouldn't just buy everything. Probably. Okay, let's try that instead of the glacial thing. Let's try that instead of those. I don't know what the drones do, but they could be amazing. And laser sword, it's rare. Plasma sword made by Scientist HD with extraterrestrial technology. Damage is strong. Oh yeah. Laser swords. Center crystal. Sounds like boss fight. Maybe? The sky colored Titan M unit. You must be blue. Don't bother me, I'm taking a break. But there's dangerous monsters all around. Nothing I can't handle. It's also dangerous to stay outside the soup for a long period of time. Who are you to lecture me? You might turn into a monster. I told you to stop lecturing me. You don't know anything about me. Unlike your regular soldiers, I have control over the fate of my body. I will have to report you to the captain. Enough. I don't want to see you again. Don't follow me. Wait. Where did he go? Wait a minute, the crystal is here, but it's protected by the Stone King. Oh! Are there really royalty among the monsters? Yes, use what you learned to defeat this monster. I trust you. I see! I can do it! Hello, Stone King! Stone King just teleport out. Okay. Getting sort of good at this dashing through things thing. Sort of. At least it's stronger than the red slime. Yeah, the red slime was laughably easy. Good work, number 11. Your sister would be proud. Captain, is it true that my sister de sister betrayed mankind? I'll tell you the truth when we return to base. That sound, what's happening? Oh, hi. Watch out. Number 11, it's too dangerous. Initiating emergency teleport. 
Intelligence. Conduct maximum emergency teleport soon. No, I can't leave the cabin behind. Wait! Captain Yuna died because of me. What should I do? Sister. You have been safely returned to the base. Why did you leave Colonel Yuna behind? Yuna was dead? What do you mean? An accident occurred on the mission. Save me. That mean... Relax, our mission is a priority. Second is to avoid unnecessary deaths. You would haven't even here to talk with me if I didn't teleport you. Master! You can't have private feelings on a mission. Damn. We lost your weapon when we were teleporting you. Oh. If you died on the spot, you won't get a chance again. We spotted the dragon's location. Oh. I'll entrust you with a dragon subjugation mission. Polish your mind and be cautious. Yes, master. I'll join you too. Okay. Before heading out, you better explore the base and visit the shops. Daddy Master's got to get some new boots somehow. So it's a sort of roguelike. Oh, there I am. Oh, it's saying that we, we killed that thing, so like, cool. Well, what's this guy have to say? I don't think you're ready yet. Bring me the boarding core and I'll show you the unit you can ride. It's just like full on Mr. Moneybag. All right. That's teleports. What other, what other shops do we have? A cute but deadly monster. You can upgrade your metal unit here. You haven't fully synchronized with your metal unit yet. The Suntail Operations Base is mainly responsible for the supply. Captain, sacrifice yourself for you. Just stay here to avoid putting others in danger. Who are you? Well, that's... Ah, hi. Okay. Uh, RP. I'm assuming RP is the other thing because I have no money. Or at least I have none of that. The cat is sweating without a word. What? Are you looking for something? Where's the combined shop? Combined shop is at the top. Thanks, you. Uh, weapon shop. Behind me. Okay, what else do we have? I'm gonna ride a combat metal unit maybe later. Okay, so do I have anything I can spend my money on? What is this? What is here? Oh, this is where the fleet pilots are sleeping. The names of the fallen heroes are written on this stone. We. Well, I gotta give credit. It's snappy. It's definitely the kind of thing that would have that would take a little bit of getting used to. Oh, I bet I can go up here. Here we go. Compound weapon smithy. It'll be open soon. Now under construction. So I. Oh, well, that's probably the sister. I probably don't have the ability to do a damn thing. Because yeah, I don't I don't know how to get RP. Oh, there's... A, no, that's just the gun shop. Alright, so unless there's anything else that actually works... Mysterious forest, home to monsters. Is that dragon? Alright, sure. This area is rough, so the jumpers are placed. Okay, anything else down in this immediate area? The answer is no. Whoops. I guess we want to go the other way. Alright. I'll probably yep. finish this off. Got a AXAS Type G. Is that a gun? It is a gun. Woo! That's going to be fun to use. I don't know if it's actually going to be any good. So anime and not in a good way. Yeah. I don't know. I mean... I can I can ignore a lot of anime if the gameplay itself is acceptable. And gameplay so far is actually pretty good. 
Ech. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got it. Got a nano machine portion M. Nothing's here that's actually threatening me. I'm gonna mash my face into wall. Oh boy. That almost works. Unfortunately, biggest madness here is uh, beef chunk. Okay, how are the controls for now? No input lag. Haven't haven't felt any input lag. Like, the only real thing I would say is it might actually be a bit too snappy sometimes. There's, some games have really floaty jumps, and this one, this one's jumps are kind of over real quick. Whoops. Not that it was actually that big of a deal. so bad, but I can't get it. Ugh. We need some kind of jump module to get up in there. Eh. Eh. But, like, the dashing is pretty good. There might be some kind of fiddly bits with the dashing, but it's not too bad. I didn't know they could actually use those. Well, that's hilarious. I should probably heal up. Give me raw. Oh, it's a uh, it's a combiner. Okay, so we could. Oh no, I gotta get another gun before I can actually combo things together. Well, that hurt a little. But that's fine. We got a banshee lays. Uh, let's see. 10 damage, 7 cooldown. Honed is a prohibited alien technology, advanced weapons, energy dodge attacks. I'm assuming that just has bonus effects when I dodge. Bam. Snap it. Okay, anything cool up here that I haven't seen? No. Let's see. Rest and recover your health. Yeah, a camp. I should have probably stuck around to see if that guy would go away. Whatever. Hi. So, we've got an easy... Not very accurate. Grab it. Grab that. I mean, I've got loads of money, so there's kind of no reason why I shouldn't just spend it all, always. Okay, grab the scouter. Huh. Got a bit of a curve. Then there's the easy... Wow. That's, um... There's a difference between not accurate and that. That is a completely different beast. Let's see. Same people that made Starbound. Doubt it. So they ripped assets? I don't see a single thing here that would be would have been in Starbound. Also, Star Starbound doesn't really have much of a leg to stand on, considering they more or less had child labor, uh, unpaid child labor, uh, working on Starbound. Like, I like me some Chucklefish, but what what they did to actually make the game was a little scummy. Canyon Passage, cave passage with a hidden canyon. Whoops. The door in the background looked a bit Starbound-ish. It it wasn't the same though. Starbound-ish, sure, but definitely not just Starbound. Yeah, that's a dagger. I'm really digging the weapon system in this game. There's not too much variety yet, but like it really does make things a little bit more interesting for me. Now I'm assuming this has oh, it's got pokey attacks. 
so you're calling it like it is. I... No. This is... That's like saying all JRPGs have ripped off each other's UI. And this door is absolutely not Starbound. Like, I can see where this would occur, like how this could occur to you, but it's not. Three Lightning isn't even translated yet. Like, I can see the resemblance, sort of, because it is a... Uh, it's got about the same, like, pixel resolution for everything, especially for the environments and whatnot. And, you know, they definitely are kind of trying to do similar stuff. But, again, that's like saying, oh, what's a good example? Dragon Quest Monsters is a ripoff of Pokemon. Like, I can see the similarities, sure. Whoa! Daggers! Oh, so that's what that does. Uh, hi? This dagger is stupid. I love it. And yeah, when I dodge, it's just lasers everywhere. It's great. Grab that. We get an alloy greatsword. And healing. Okay. Let's try the greatsword. Knife is fun, but oh, it's time for big swords. Uh, I guess that worked, actually. I don't think it took any damage from that. Oops. Grab the money. But yeah, there, there's a valid time to say, like, hey, yeah, this is, this is just uh, ripping off, like, blank game. But there's a difference between that and just being like, this looks similar, therefore it's a ripoff. Uh, conversely... I don't know. I guess it feels more like, uh... Would I say manufactured... Outrage more than anything else? Nah, it's not really outrage so much as just like... There are other valid criticisms you could levy, levy against this game. That I would agree with you on. But like, visual style is very rarely something you can s straight up say like... This is too similar to this other game. The only one I can think of in somewhat recent memory was there was a Metroidvania I played a while back where the uh, the artist had straight up just like ripped assets out of Maple Story. Um, and like, yeah, that's not that's not cool, nor should that be done. Item shop hidden in the forest, but there's also birds. Wow, this great sword is goofy. I have no idea if that's actually dangerous to me or not. There we go. Okay, grab that. We gained a hook. Uh, grapple enemies closer. Oh, shit. That was my healing item. Damn it. That was the last of my healing items, too. Whoops. Okay. I need to swim. I... Swimming seems dangerous. Healing in this game is relatively common. They did say it was a secret shop. I guess I could check it out. Ow, 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 ow. No, it actually looks like there's no swimming. Yeah, there, there's no swimming, period. Amusing. You just stand on the surface of the water. Presumably, you know, the blocks only just go surface deep, and that's about it. Twisted Hill, I can hear medical, a mechanical sound around its...
Well, this greatsword is absolutely pulling its weight. It is just demolishing things. I liked the dagger. It was... It was pokey. Okay. Well, we're getting a lot of money here. Unfortunately, shit's scary. Hopefully we can pick up... Yep. Hopefully we can pick up some more healing or a tent again. I'm gonna just let that go. There we go. Whoops. Stay away from that. Kill all enemies to continue. Is that an enemy? Oh! Those dart traps are, in fact, enemies. Oh, there's the camp. I really should talk to that guy instead of just camping, but uh, I keep forgetting. So, Alloy Greatsword is good. Baven Sword. Uh, I'm probably going to skip it. And it doesn't look like we've got an alt yet. That's okay. Center of Crying. It is the source of great crying. Ah! Yeah, no kidding. Well, this is just shitty. Ah! Oh, so by dying, that's how I get the RP. Okay, well... Source of great crying indeed. Uh, anyway, so that actually... Apparently quitting out uh, just restarts the whole thing, but that's fine. This is... This game won't be out for... I actually have no idea when this game is going to be out. Uh, all I know is they more or less just... Uh, they more or less just emailed me and be like, Here's a key, and I'm like, cool! No other information. So, I'll just put this up at some point on YouTube, and that'll just be the end of it. Yeah, we can see the great evil again. The giant pudding of death. Anywho. I like it so far. Good basis. Definitely a little floaty and a little, like awkward at times, but I think it's just kind of one of those where you get used to it. Early access starts February 4th. Good to know. A little sooner than later, but you know what? Whatever. I mean, it's close enough at this point, and since it's going to be early access, I'm sure they'll get a lot of feedback along the way. It's a great base. Uh, better than the previous uh, roguelike I played. The previous roguelike I played I think had more potential than this, but both are pretty dang good. Hopefully we get to see some more interesting and unique effects applied to this stuff and maybe like different mech suits. Uh, I mean, I'd love it if they went full metabots where like you could actually change out parts on your suits. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell to do about that spike bit because that just instigates me. I guess it's one of those where once you fall into that once, then you just never do it again. Um, but yeah, going full like metabots or armor core where you, you can switch out like head parts, chest pieces, uh, boosters and arms and some other things like that would be so rad and I really want another game like that I feel like you could do it with this one where it's just like minor statistical differences and special effects here and there and I think that could actually work really well but I guess that would be probably hard to animate so I wouldn't imagine them doing it I don't know one way or another I'm looking forward to what they do and yeah I guess we'll be back uh, when this game probably comes out but for now thanks for watching I'll see you next time